In this video, I want to give you my top two, top three tips on creating better jump cuts. Now, in the past, I was really, really bad at creating professional looking jump cuts. You can go ahead and watch my videos from a year ago and you'll know what I'm talking about. So let's see. So that, let's take this video for example. Let's just or just press uh, W to import it. All you gotta do is just press just press W and you'll import the clip. What you want to do is you want to press the Command Plus. You want to press Command Plus and zoom in to where you want to start making the cut. Now, what I won't be doing in this this tutorial is you want to either like listen to the audio or have headphones on. If you want to get precise jump cuts I'm obviously not going to do that because it's going to start messing with this video so let's say for example okay I started talking right around here so this is where I'm gonna to have to start making my uh, cut what you want to do is you want to just keep pressing in and make sure everything is in frame now as you can see as you can see over here it's quiet so that's not where I want to make the cut and here you go so let's start the cut is going to be somewhere around here then what you want to do is you want to zoom in zoom in all the way as you can see now this is where it's a lot different for everybody and this is how you find the proper place to jump cut what you want to do is you want to press on the arrows as you can see that skipped a whole bunch of talking so I obviously don't want to start there so let's go back and then let's skip a frame let's I'm using the right and left arrow keys on my keyboard so let's go let's skip a frame back so I'm using the left um, the left the left side of my keyboard on my keys so let's go ahead and press backwards as you can see that's not where I want the cut to be so I'll go forward and then for okay so here I am so this this is probably where I want the cut to be how do you know that for example I'll I'll take the arrow keys and go like this I'll go forward there we go it just skipped a bunch of my talking so I obviously don't want to cut it there and I'll go back but as you can see if I cut it right here and there's the marker there's still gonna be a bunch of silence so press the arrow key and as you can see I'm right in the middle going forward one frame will will um, cut me off so it'll like two or three seconds you won't hear what I'm saying but if I go back there's gonna be like 0, 0.0 seconds of silence what you want to do is there you go. So now we finally found our jump cut. As soon as I play the video, I'm gonna immediately stop. I'm gonna immediately start talking. There's not gonna be this weird silence. What you want to do is you want to click on it. I'll just zoom out a little bit. Command minus. What you want to do is you want to press on the clip and press Command B. That's the blade tool. Now you want to take press on the clip and just press the delete button. And there you go. If I played it right now, let's go ahead and just play it right now. I think I'll make sure it's muted because I don't want to mess with this video but I'll play it right now as you should see it should work so there you go I started talking let me zoom out a little bit because that just went a little too fast let's go ahead and play it as you can see immediately I started talking the audio so I'll go back and boom immediately I started talking so that's how you create an effective uh, jump cut now what you want to do is I'll just go all the way to the always command minus pretty much that's it you basically want to just follow that those steps when you're creating uh, your jump cuts now let's go to the end again headphones and actually listening to the audio is incredibly crucial but I um, just can't do that because I don't want to I don't want the audio to mess with the, uh, this voiceover so as you can see let's say I want the audio here let's go ahead press the uh, keys the left uh, the left key let's go back and that's good because there you go this is where I've, I've stopped talking let's go back another frame that's good that's good that's good that's good and there you go as you can see I went back too far and there's some of my voice it'll cut me off too early so let's go forward so let's say that's where I want to be press the M key let's go forward there you go there's this is, um, there's a moment of silence right here let's go back but if I go this way you'll see it should if you can see correctly there you go see look my audio is right there so let's go to the frame we're right here if I press the backwards key it's gonna cut off that audio here I'll go forward but if I go forward one more key there's gonna be this place of silence so here's where I want to click right here go back I've cut myself off I go one more frame too far there's gonna be a point zero seconds or whatever the technical time is of complete silence and you don't want that what you want to do is just press the command uh, let's just minus out a little bit so you can see what's happening so here's the cut press over here and press the blade tool command B delete key now let's make sure you're not gonna be able to hear me but let's zoom out and let's make sure 
I, I don't cut myself off. So as you can see, I'll play. I'll go back a little bit just so it's not too fast. So as you can see, I should just stop talking. There you go. As you can see, I stopped talking. That way, it would jump back into the next clip. So that is a very simplified version of how to create an effective jump cut. Or when you're starting a clip, ending a video, that's how you want to do it. You want to really zoom in. You want to zoom in as as close as you possibly can get into the video, and just go press using the arrow keys. Go frame by frame by frame by frame, and and use use your headphones or just use the actual speakers on your computer use the headphones speakers on your computer and just go one frame at a time and to make sure you don't have any weird jump cuts for example if I'm gonna make a jump cut I don't wanna make the jump cut out here because I just I won't be able to see exactly where the audio ends so before I end up the video you want to zoom all the way into the video as close as you possibly can use headphones speakers and just go one frame at a time and just keep testing it and just to make sure everything works because at the end of the day you may have made a mistake and your eyeballs you may have been able to eyeball it, it still didn't work so you want to listen to it at the end to make sure everything worked zoom in go frame by frame use headphones speakers and make sure everything works because you don't want two or three seconds of silence and then all of a sudden it cuts into the next clip Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. I upload Final Cut Pro tutorials every single day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.